It's time for another Keto Crate unboxing, this time April 2020. Let's hop to it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so it is my favorite time of the month it's keto crate time and i need it this month more than ever i love the time of the month where the keto crates come in because we get to try some new snacks we get to like re refresh our stockpile for our snacks for the month i just need some happy coming to the door today yeah <laughs> Okay. So yeah, we're in the midst of obviously everybody being stuck at home and Rachel's kind of going a little loopy. We're in the middle of doing an Easter egg hunt for our 19 year old children. This is what happens when we're all trapped in a house together. <laughs> so if you don't know what a Keto Crate is, Keto Crate is a monthly subscription box. It's filled with different types of keto treats. They have a few rules like can't be more than five net carbs, can't have maltitol in it. Uh, there's a link down below. You can use the code 2 Crazy Ketos to save, I believe it's $10 off of your very first box. Nice. Uh, if you do use that link, it does support the channel. We greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Also, at the end of this video, we're going to be giving one of these away. Not this particular box, but we're giving away a keto crate. We're it's not giving away ours, so we didn't touch the, it. The Easter egg hunt prize. Yes. So, you ready to get into this? Yes, what are the chances there's toilet paper inside here? Probably not much. That would be a real treat right Okay. Now. So the way we do our Keto Crate unboxings is we're gonna go over each thing in here. We're gonna go over the macros and the nutrition, and then also we look on their website and tell you how much they cost. Just keep in mind the prices, they're what Keto Crate is saying, though sometimes you can find them cheaper on Amazon, you can find them cheaper directly on the websites or even from outside companies. Yeah. So they're just giving you a ballpark estimate of how much they cost. And do we get to try something? And we will try something. So there, I love the fact they started this again. There's a little card in here, uh, some recipes, some Photoshops, and there's usually somebody's story. Yeah. Yes, it is a Keto, uh, Keto, Keto Bonito. So, How cute cool is little that? story in there. We have, I want to try these. This is like Pop-Tarts. Legendary Foods Pop-Tarts. How fun. So it's a little card for these, available at eatlegendary.com and amazon.com. Ooh, I wonder I don't if know there's, if there's one any in there. In here, but, so it says that one of these pastries is 170 calories, three to four net carbs, uh, less than one gram of sugar, nine grams of protein. I really do want to try those. I like the rest of the legendary food stuff. Man, I hope that's the, the Easter treat in there. First thing. Moon, Moon cheese. cheese. We've had these lots of times. How brilliant, though, in an individual pack. Yep, I love this. I love the fact that it's now coming in an individual pack. Because everyone is an individual pack for Rachel. <laughs> Okay, so the ingredients in this, cheddar cheese, pasteurized, which is pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, enzymes, annatto, which is vegetable color. 170 calories, 14 grams of fat, 11 grams of protein, one total carbohydrate, one gram of dietary fiber, zero net carbs. I always say it's one carb. All cheese has carbs in it. Yeah. So that's the first thing. We've How had them much? lots of time. I'm looking up the price. Grab uh, this they're one. They're saying $2 a piece on those. Oh, nice. So Rebel Snacks. Rebel Snacks. We've had these before. That. Not that flavor. Not but this. But we've had that flavor before. This is or we've had these snacks before. Matcha Latte Coconut Bites with Vanilla Cream Filling. They're 100% plant-based and they claim that they're drop-dead delicious. Not sure the other that. ones were really good. We liked the other ones. Yeah. We ate them all. Their ingredients are organic coconut, almonds, cashews, macadamia nuts, non-GMO allulose, organic coconut oil, organic erythritol, ceremonial green tea matcha powder, vanilla, sea salt, and monk fruit extract. So it's got good clean ingredients. Amazing ingredients. It's 130 calories for two bites. You've actually got four and, servings in a container. Okay. So the calories are 130 calories, 14 grams of fat, three grams of protein, seven total carbohydrates, but then you have 
three fiber, one erythritol, and two allulose. So three, four, one five, six. Carb. One net carb. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty, kind of exciting. Price on those are $7.99. They do give us a 15% off coupon. One thing I like about Keto Crate is you do get coupons for everything in here. Usually it's directly for that company's website, but. This is one of those things that if I saw it on the store shelf at that price point, I probably would not pick it up. But now that it's in here, I'm super excited that I get to try it. Yep. I'm not sharing these. Is that a high key cookie? Yeah. High key cookies. If these you have not are, had these. Oh my gosh. I will leave a so link good. for them down below. These are amazing. Crunchy cookies. They remind you of the famous Amos little cookies. Very crunchy. Delicious. Don't, don't, don't have, I've not met one person who has tried these who didn't like them. No, me neither. No way. Even our kids like them. And I mean, nobody realizes that they're keto. They're buttery. Ingredients. Delicious. Almond flour, natural sweetener, which is erythritol, monk fruit extract, and uh, stevia extract. They have a, like a combination that they make. Mm -hmm. uh, chocolate chips, which is unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia extract, sunflower lecithin. Coconut oil, butter, which is cream, milk, and salt. Uh, prebiotic fiber, dried eggs, vanilla extract, baking powder, hydrologized collagen, sea salt, xanthan gum, and guar gum. They're delicious. Two servings per bag, which oh, there's a decent amount of cookies. I usually do make it go two. Usually I make it go three servings. Um, just to make it last. Serving size is six pieces. 140 calories, 13 grams of fat, three grams of protein, 11 total carbohydrates, two grams of dietary fiber, seven grams of sugar alcohol, making it two net carbs per serving. They're delicious. I don't even remember how much they cost. They cost, well, you're pulling out the next thing. $4.67. I know you can get those on deals all the time. Jimmy. Jimmy. How cute is that? Is that a bar? It's a bar. It says Be Lean Bars with Benefits. Okay. So Jimmy Protein Bar. This is the keto-friendly macadamia nut. Grain and gluten-free bar. The ingredients are peanuts, tapioca fiber syrup, macadamia nuts, whey protein, dark chocolate coating, which is chocolate liqueur, erythritol, inulin, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, vanilla stevia. It's got almonds in it, coconut oil, and sea salt, all GMO. Non-GMO, sorry. <laughs> okay. So one bar is 210 calories, 16 grams of fat, nine grams of protein. It's got 15 total carbohydrates, 11 dietary fiber. Yeah. Um, so that brings it down to what, like four, four net carbs. Yeah. So do they don't even have a sweetener in there? Oh, they do have a Ritz Patrol in here. So they're not even telling, they must not be much in here. Is it all the way at the bottom of the list? Yeah. Because they're not saying any sugar alcohols. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they're playing a the fiber game. Little, Tap, tapi, fiber. Tapioca fiber syrup. Another word for IMO fiber. Mm. So I'll, I'll try it. But Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy, you can what are feel, you doing? It feels like taffy. It does. It does. It feels like taffy. So, yeah, that's another one of those. I'm not going to say for sure it's IMO fiber, but I'm really suspect, especially considering there's 15 total carbs and 11 of it is dietary fiber, all coming from that IMO for the most part. Yeah. So, price on these, $2.92. Okay. And they do give you a 15% off coupon. Who's next? Ooh, there's some good stuff in here. I know. This box is actually really good. I'm going to go with our buddy. Noosh. Noosh. Love these guys. What's up, Dave and Bobby? Dave and Bobby. Awesome people. Products are awesome. Delicious. Love their cakes. Pineapple mango cake. One of my favorite flavors. Didn't like it at first, and then they reformulated it, and I now was like, awesome. oh my gosh, it's awesome. I feel like this is thicker than normal. Doesn't that feel thicker? Oh, you don't need to touch it too much, because that's going in my gullet. Okay. So, yeah, these cakes are incredible. We get to hang out with... Uh, Dave all the time when we go to different events. Ingredients in this are water, organic flax, organic erythritol, organic coconut oil, eggs, organic natural flavors, organic glycerin, pineapple mango, leavening, which is sodium acid uh, pyrophosphate, organic rosemary extract, sunflower lecithin, and monk fruit extract. They really are delicious. Really delicious. Great ingredients. Serving size is one cake. 180 calories, 13 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, 19 total carbohydrates, 
four grams of dietary fiber, 11 grams of sugar alcohol. Not a lot of fiber here. Most of the total carbs in here are coming from the sugar alcohols. And they've really worked hard on getting yes. rid of that cooling effect. When we first had them, we didn't like them because of the cooling effect. And again, they've reformulated them. They're always working to improve them. Really like them. Four net carbs per cake. They are so good with Worth the every bite. And I like putting cream cheese on them. Oh my goodness, Especially yes. the carrot cake flavor. You get the yes. carrot cake and you put cream cheese on it, and the price on these are $3 a piece. They do give us a 20% off coupon. Pineapple is like, what a spring treat, right? Yes. Jimmy, or no, now you got me saying Jimmy. Jimmy. Stoka bar, birthday cake flavor. Have you had this? No. Feels we like there's had a, one. There's like a candle right in the middle of it. So we had, this is, what, I think, one of those things that some people like and some people don't like. So I was hesitant to try them. At one point they were on sale and I didn't get them because everyone was like, oh, birthday cake, no good. We got one in a crate. It sat in my drawer for two months. I finally broke it open a couple of weeks ago. Was it delicious? It's got sprinkles in it. Nuh-uh. It's got sprinkles in it. It does? It's awesome. How fun is that? It's awesome. Well, it says the ingredients are almonds, erythritol, Stoka rainbow sprinklers, which are erythritol, soluble corn fiber, palm kernel oil, natural colors. There's inulin, natural flavors, sea salt, guar gum, sunflower lecithin, and stevia extract. Um, a serving size is a bar, 250 calories, 22 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein, 18 total carbs, 6 fiber, and 8 sugar alcohol. So you're looking at 4 net carbs. Yep. Top of my list on like my bars on like where I want the where I want to have the total carbs. I try not to go over 18 unless it's really indulgent treat. These are really good. These are though. really when they are high. Usually. I don't mind it as much if they're not playing the fiber game, which they're not. They're not. Most of that again is the sugar alcohols. What I don't like is bars that are high in fiber, like 18, 19, 20, 25, and then most of that is a rather high in total carbs, and then most of that is fiber. Yeah. That's where I steer away from. Exactly. Legendary foods. There's legendary. These are the pizza flavored almonds. How fun is that? Okay, ingredients in this are almonds, erythritol, palm oil. Contains 2% or, or less of the following. Spice, garlic powder, onion powder, buttermilk powder, tomato powder, salt, soluble corn fiber, whey powder, uh, high oleic sunflower oil, cheddar cheese, which is milk cultures, since, uh, salt and enzymes, non-fat dry milk, uh, milk fat, yeast extract, annatto for color, paprika, citric acid, smoke flavor, and stevia. So all of that is, I'm sure, is just the seasoning for the pizza. Flavor. I'm not sure if we told them that the Stoka bars are $2.99 a piece. Oh, nope. Yep, $2.99. There's a link down below for them as well. Uh, so serving is the whole package. Of course. 200 calories, 18 grams of fat. Uh, seven grams of protein, eight total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber, one gram of sugar alcohol, making it three net carbs for the package. Yum. You know what I'm going to say. Three dollars a bag. Dang. Dang. Now you have not had these. These were I in not. our other box that I reviewed with Anthony last month. Were they good? You're going to like you love them. You're going to have to, we're going to have to open these up because you're going to like them. Dang coconut chips. This is tropical mango flavor. In these are coconut, mango juice, sea salt, citric acid, natural mango flavor, beta carotene for color, annatto extract for color, lu hangu, which is monk fruit. Yep. And uh, stevia. So there is, I like how they have the, if you're gonna eat the whole bag or you're gonna have a serving. I love that. You're not gonna eat a whole bag of coconut chips though. Probably not. So a serving has two, which is an ounce, 1.05 ounces. <laughs> so uh, it's 200 calories per serving, 17 grams of fat, two grams of protein, 11 total carbs, six fiber. And so yeah, there you go. One gram of sugar. How many net carbs? They're saying, I guess. Five. Yeah. Five net carbs. But again, and that's in a serving, and you, you're you not going to eat a lot of these. They're, no. They're, they're coconut very filling. Chips. They're very filling. They take a long time to eat because they're chewy. These are really, really Great good. Great movie snack. Yep. Now that we're home watching movies. Price of those are $4.50. I've also seen them in not Whole Foods. Bad. So they do sell them in Whole Foods. Next up. 
crispy cuts. We've had these before. Yeah. Parmesan peppercorn flavor. Uh, Sounds like a good flavor. Ingredients. Fried pork skins, grated Parmesan cheese, which is pasteurized part skim milk, cheese culture, salt, enzymes, spices, including peppercorns, salt, dehydrated garlic. Yum. Cooked in their own oils, no MSG. A lot of these don't have uh, good products, good ingredients. They usually have MSG. So it's nice to see this. Always like these. From Field Trip. Here's the real problem. Two servings per container. No, there's not. There's one. 80 total calories, six grams of fat, and that's per serving, by the way. Seven grams of protein, one total carbohydrate. So if you eat the whole bag, 160 calories, two total carbs. Honestly. Which is all coming from the cheese and the spices. That is not bad at all. Not bad at all. How much is the price? Price on those are $2.99 a bag. And I know, I've again, another one of those products, I've seen them cheaper on Amazon. But where, where Joe will usually reach for a bar, I'm going to reach for something like this. Yep. Snack-wise. Yep. Next up. Let's see. Ooh, this is a fatty meat stick. Fat. Sweetwood Smokehouse Fatty Original Smoked Meat Stick. Made with Wouldn't grass- Wouldn't be a keto favorite on meat stick. Right? Grass-fed beef and then pork raised without antibiotics, no nitrates, no MSG, and gluten-free. It says the ingredients are pork raised without antibiotics, grass-fed beef, sea salt, sugar, encapsulated citric acid, cultured celery powder, pepper, garlic powder, and a colored collagen casing. I don't know why they always have to put sugar in these meat sticks. I'll try it. Not but, sure. And is there, there's no car, there's no nutrition on it, No right? nutritional. That's the other problem with these things. That bugs me too. Um, yeah, they're saying eight grams of fat, one net carb, but they don't tell you how many, well, I guess they're saying one net carb, but not how many calories. I'm gonna venture to say that that's probably about 75 calories because it's so thick. Uh, Sweet Hood Smokehouse, $2 per stick. Or you could just make our beef jerky. Yes. So if you haven't seen that, I will leave a link for that right over Rachel's head. It's not quite the same as a beef stick, but it's pretty good. Team hamburger jerky. One product left. Box is empty. We've got Quefos. Quefos. We've had these before. Pretty good. Made from egg whites. This is the sour cream and onion flavor. Anthony will be excited about that. Egg whites, ghee, milk protein isolate, inulin, which is chicory root fiber, coconut oil, seasoning blend, which is modified tapioca starch, salt, sugar, onion powder, natural flavors, spices, citric acid, yeast extract, uh, garlic powder. Then you have avocado oil, chia seeds, contains less than 2% of psyllium husk, sunflower lecithin, and flax seeds. Nice. Uh, so the sugar's in the seasoning. Mm -hmm. 140 calories, 10 grams of fat, uh, eight grams of protein, eight total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber, making it four net carbs for the bag. Personally, I don't think it's worth it. Like I said, Anthony will be excited. He likes salt and onion everything. Yes. Yeah. Or not salt and onion, oh, sour we've, cream and onion. We've had them before. I don't think they're worth four net carbs. My personal opinion. Okay. Uh, price on these, some a lot of people do like them. $3 per bag. What are we trying? This is so interesting sounding to me. You want to try these? Yes. Anything you want to try? I just want you to try the dang, but we do have a bag open, but I think we should just open them up yeah. and put them on our keto chow ice cream. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. So, but I just try that first and then finish with this. Just because I want to see. Ooh. It, it is a mango smell. What a wonderful smell. I love mango so much that, of course, like right before we started keto, I planted a mango tree in our yard and it's got tons of mangoes and we can't eat them. Is that not good? What a delicious tropical flavor. Now, there are three servings in this bag. The bag is pretty full. It's about half full, but wow. that's not even a serving and they're just nice to kind of snack on. Oh Especially, my gracious. Especially, again, if you put them on ice cream, but the mango flavor is totally, now this is worth the carbs. Oh my goodness, it's delightful. Is that not good? This would be amazing in like a chicken salad, right? I didn't even think of that. Because it'd be like nice and tropical. Add some crunch, yeah. Some crunch, some freshness. Yep. Wow. Okay, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. You gonna finish that? So good. Okay, so Rebel Snacks. Again, we've had the other ones before. We had like the snickerdoodle ones. They were like, buy one, get one free at one point. So we we wound up buying a bunch of them. Yeah, when they were buy one, get one free. Because mm -hmm. $8 is a lot of money. They're so cute. So that's a half a serving. They don't really smell like anything. 
Uh oh. Very interesting. I'm trying to. It's got the texture like like the other ones, like of a little bit of a macaroon. Hmm. It doesn't have a wonky matcha taste because sometimes no. I don't like matcha. I don't like it matcha. I don't like it very matcha. The the macadamia nuts are coming through. Yeah. And it's got a slight hint of green tea, but not overwhelming. I am not a big green tea fan either. I'm not getting a ton of vanilla cream. No. Honestly, their chocolate ones were the bomb. Mm -hmm. I would stick with that probably. Not enough. Again, I'm not a matcha fan to begin with, but not enough of a matcha flavor if you are to be going with this particular flavor. But it's very nice. Oh, it's nice, but mm -hmm. it's a lot of money. So. Okay, giveaway. So we're going to give away a Keto Crate every month. Keto Crate allows us to give one away. What you need to do is be subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button on this video. Make a comment. And then leave a comment down below. Any comment you will do. If you don't want to win the Keto Crate, maybe you're already getting it and you want somebody else to have a shot and you want to leave a comment anyway. Okay. Just put in your comment like, hey, don't, you know, take me out of the running. The only rule is you have to live within the United States. I don't know. I still want to run for it. Right? Why? You could just give it away if you don't want it. <laughs> I guess, but some people say they don't want to win. So okay. Always like the people, some people want to comment, but they don't want to win. So uh -huh. just put in your comment, hey, I don't want to win because this way somebody else will get to pick. And we are going to pick the winner one week from today. So that will be next Saturday. I will put the date right here along the bottom of the screen. So fun. I can't wait. Yep. Right before Easter. That is, yeah, the Saturday before Easter. So that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section which one of these snacks would really intrigue you. And please do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.